Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to take a look at our ANC bins that we have going. I've got two of them going. They haven't looked all that great. I'm trying to get the population going again. We had some heat issues, and then, uh, you know, the cool temperatures, and I turned the heat off. So it's just been, it's been a rough start here, this, uh, this last couple updates. So we're going to try to get this going again. I have some food I'm going to add to it this time, depending on how it looks inside. Uh, and maybe some more bedding material, as I think they were starting to work through this. But I'm hoping to find some larger worms, maybe that we can sort out in you know another five days or so, and add to my other ANC system I have going with in the urban worm bag. I'm trying to rebuild that one. A lot of the worms I feel died off with the uh, cold snap that sort of happened because I can't really heat it as well. And we're going to continue to add food to these bins as a heat source, as a way to kind of keep them warm. Now, right now there shouldn't be much of an issue. It was nearly 100 a couple days ago. And it was, you know, in the high 80s today, so hopefully we won't have as many issues with cool temperatures causing causing problems with these worms. But we're going to continue to monitor it and continue to watch these worms and see how they do. So with that, let's take a look at our first busboy bin tote, and then we'll look at our 10-gallon tote afterwards. So let's go look at the, the busboy tote right now. All right, as you can see, it says 511 down here, and we did do some sort of feeding last time. Today is the 23rd, so it's been 12 days. I'm going to go ahead and move this down. Now let's go ahead and take off this top here and just take a look on here, see if we see any worms on here. I don't see any worms on the top. It looks pretty dry too. I don't see a lot of moisture on there. So it uh, means it might be a little bit dry, although the material does look okay in here from this first glance. And we've got one, one worm on top right here. Got another worm right there and another worm right there. So three kind of on this top area, which is a good sign. So you can see they're moving pretty well. So let's just dig into our section that we last add, added food on. Just see what's going on over here. As I said, I'm try, hoping that I can pull some worms out of here maybe in a week to add to my other system. And it looks like that will be a success probably since here's already a couple of really large worms. Let's just dig in here. I think we added rice. That's right. We added rice last time. And I can see some of the rice built up in here. You can see it's sort of powdery a little bit. So I think that's a good sign. We'll just sort of break this apart a little bit. Check some of these corners here, see if we see any other worms. Oh, we got a little one over here. That's a, always a good sign to see some smaller worms in the system. It means that they are reproducing and that they are going to grow the population. So that's a good sign. See if we see any more. Oh, I see another one down in here. Another little worm right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Little baby worm right over there. So that's a really good sign. Just trying to see if I see any cocoons or anything in the area. There's another baby worm. Oops. Let's see if we can clear some of this material away. Right here. Another baby worm right there. So this is a good sign. This means that they are starting to multiply. There's another one that's wiggling like crazy down here. Let's go ahead and pick them up. Right there. Look at that. Little worm right there wiggling like crazy. I try to be very careful when I pick him up like that too, by the way. I try not to scrape them too hard or anything. But it looks like there's a good amount of worms in this area over there. We're going to go ahead and cover that back up. Kind of move some of those worms back over there into that section. And let's just kind of dig in this center section now see if we can find anything in here. I have to say, the material in here is looking really good though. It's really looking like it's castings. Oh, I'm, there's a little worm right there. I might have killed that one though. I'll tip my glove, unfortunately. So there's a lot of little baby worms in here. Put that one back. There we go. So the material though, I mean these castings look phenomenal. This probably is ready for like a sort of a side-by-side -side harvest. Here we go. Here's another smaller worm right there. That's a good sign. Larger worm over here. Actually there's three worms in there. There's another slightly larger one. Not quite, whoops, not quite adult it looks like, but can't really tell. I don't think that's quite an adult, but it's uh, it's definitely a larger worm in there than the babies. Another worm right there. This is a good sign. We're seeing lots of worms in here, a lot, especially the baby worms and the larger worms. So this system is doing actually really, really well, I have to say, compared to the other one, which it just feels like that one's just not doing quite as well. Even the material in here is fairly dry, I feel. I mean, it just crumbles apart. I mean, I... If I squeeze it together right now, except let me not do that with a worm in my hand. Grab some material right here. I think this is clear. If I squeeze it together, it kind of forms 
a clump, which is what you want, but it just flakes right apart in a nut like that. I mean, that's really kind of the perfect moisture level, really. Um, the sides are a little dry. But look at that. I mean, this, this material looks great. Let's dig over here a little bit. Flip this over. Another worm over there. We've got a another one right here. We've got, this is a, I'm not sure what seed this is. This almost looks like a, I guess this is a mango. But it looks like they broke apart the, oops, that was a mess. They broke apart the, uh, the external seed. Actually, we've got some worms in there. Look at that. Worms making some, uh, making some inroads into this mango seed here. So we'll put that back over there. Another worm over there. So yeah, this is, this is doing pretty good. I have to say, I mean, like it's, uh, it's moving along. We are going to add some more food though. That rice though is, uh, here we go. This is, this is what I expect for mango seeds. That must've been the interior piece that fell out. That's the actual seed instead of just the uh, mango sh seed shell or casing, whatever you want to call it. So these, these take a while to break down. I know that. So I'll just put that over there. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of food to this and a little bit more bedding material too. Um, they really kind of chewed through this bedding material a little bit more than I expected. So we're going to go ahead and put down a little bit, a little, just a sprinkle of paper on the bottom here to start. Move my paper to the other side here so I can get the food. So just a little bit of paper on the bottom to just kind of add a barrier. And now we're going to add some food. Now for food, we're going to add a banana peel and then in here, and this is thawed out a little bit. That's why it looks so, uh, There we go, and some coffee grounds. I think this is a good mix. I don't want to add a whole lot of food in here. And then we're going to go ahead and put on, actually, let's put on some crushed crab and eggshell here. I'm just going to put on a mask for a second, which I should be doing every time I use this crushed crab and eggshell, but I have not been every time. But I'm going to try to get better about that, and I suggest you too do the same thing. We're just going to put in a little bit of that. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and put some paper on top of this. I expect this to heat up a little bit, just like the uh, the rice on the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and douse this with a little bit of water. This system is pretty dry, so I'm not too worried. I'm going to take my mask off now. There we go. Just one thing of water, I think, on that. And then we're going to go ahead and cover this up. Oh, here's our mango seed here. Let's just try to put that down here in the bottom a little bit. Cover this up nice and well over here. And this should go ahead and let's cover this up. This one is ready to go back on the shelf. I think we will do a harvest of some worms out of here again in another uh, week or so and add some more to our urban worm bag from here. And now let's go on to our uh, 10 gallon tote and see how that one's doing. Be right back. All right, I already added today's date to 523, again, 511, and we did add the rice, I think, to this one, just like we did to the last one. Flip this over. There's a little bit of moisture on the top. Nothing over here, though, really. Not seeing any bugs or anything on here. So let's put that off to the side. Nothing really going on there. Material in here, again, we've got, um, let me just move this up just a little bit. We've got our little label right here showing that we've got, that's where we added the food was in the center. So let me go ahead and put on my glove. We'll take a look in here. I'm not seeing any worms on the surface. Again, this system has been doing nearly as well as the other one, surprisingly. I really thought that this one would do better. I see lots of uh, bugs in here. It looks like some white bugs. They skittered away pretty quickly, so I think those are just springtails. Not seeing any worms so far, though. Let's just keep digging through here. Oh, here's our first one right here. Kind of small. It looks like it's a group, though, of smaller worms. So that's a good sign. Hopefully they are starting to repopulate this system. Oh, here we go. All you need is a couple cocoons, though, and you can start repopulating these systems pretty good. So there's another one. Harder to find uh, worms in this system because of the paper bedding. Here we go, there's another worm right in here. The smaller worms sort of blend in a little bit with the paper compared to the, uh, the castings, which are easy to recognize when you see worms in there because they're more of a dark color and not white or any other color. And you can quickly see a pink baby 
that is right along the, the castings. Not much going on here either. And for those that are looking to get into this, I do have links down below to purchase worms and equipment. Just check out the links in the description. I know right now we're not seeing much action in this system, but hopefully we'll see a rebound in the population as my hope. All right, not much in there. Let's push that off to the side. I think that's also, that's part of the center section right there that we dug up before. Let's just dig over here. See if we see anything. Oh, here's another baby right there. All right, we're not baby, but smaller, maybe juvenile. If you see any cocoons in the video feed, let me know. I have to say, when it gets to the, you know, unless they're really brightly colored, I just, I'm not very good at seeing them. Especially with the mixture of papers I have in here. More castings over here, though. It looks like there's a pile of castings over there. It's a good sign. Usually when you have a lot of castings all right next to each other, especially since I mix up the bin every time, that usually means that there was maybe a group of worms in this section at some point. Not much going on in this one. This one still is doing mediocre at best. We'll probably need a repopulation of worms in here to kind of get this going again. Well, let me see if we can see if it'll build up. Oh, there's one right there. That was a lively one. Again, a younger one. It's still, though, very active. That's a good sign. Maybe when these worms, and we saw some other smaller ones in here, maybe when they get a little bigger, we'll start seeing some more cocoons in here again, as, as long as there's food to eat. They will continue to work their way through this. There's not much going on in here. I'm hesitant, but I think I will add just a little bit of food to this system just to give them something. I think we'll still we'll continue to put it in the center so that way all the worms can work towards it. I'm not going to add, oh, here we go. This is the rice that we added, I think, last time or something that we added in here. There's a worm on it. I'm pretty sure this, uh, it looks like it might have been something else. I don't know what this was. Oh, this was the, uh, this might have been from a while ago when I added, uh, Maybe stuff from my blender or juicer. But oh, it looks like there's more worms over here. Maybe this is where they're going to. There's a bunch of worms on this right here. I somehow missed this when I was going through. So hopefully that's what's drawing them out and they'll, hopefully they'll continue to go to this area. So what we'll do is we'll move that over to the front. Kind of add a little bit of a layer of protection in here. Make sure there's no worms in the area. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to add one little extra piece of food in here. Not a whole lot. Just, whoops, well, it's going to bring over a clementine peel with it. But the banana over here and then a clementine peel. And we'll bury that in here. We'll keep it in the center section just as the other food is. And we're going to continue to try to feed this system just a little bit just to try to get it going here until we can get a population built up. I think that's it for this update on this worm system as well. This one's not doing quite as well, but maybe it can rebound. Let's uh, let's maybe not add any worms. Let's see if we can get this one to rebound and repopulate without me adding anything else. So update on 523. So it has been, as I said, 12 days. And so far, these systems are looking, uh, the first one's looking pretty good, but this one's, uh, it still needs some help. And hopefully this will this will recover as we, uh, we add a little bit more food to it, kind of get the, the worms going here. And the warmer basement, I'm sure, is helping as well. Actually, let me just... Uh... Let me just do one more quick thing here. Let's just check temperature real quick. Just so you can see. I mean, I'm not heating this at all. And that's 20, 22 degrees or about 71. So 71 and a half degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees Celsius. And that's without a heater or anything. So as I said, it's warmed up in here. It's warmed up in Maryland. And we had some, uh, some high temperatures over the weekend. But, you know, luckily these, these didn't. Well, these haven't heated up a whole lot, but you don't want them to get too hot because you can also kill the worms that way. So 
With that, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.